Hey everyone, the professor here with your crude oil outlook for today. So we are definitely seeing this area right in here. So we are going to trap price. If you look right here, right, we can definitely see that we've got this area that consolidated and then we finally had the breakout. We had the breakout down, the retest, and then we continued down. So we are back in this critical stage right here. So we have to wait to see how price is going to react in that area. Now, this is based on the four hour chart. And so what I want to do is I want to give you one zone to the top side that we do not want to ignore, which is going to be here and then one to the bottom side as well. So as we kind of bring this here, we want to drop now down to the one hour chart. So we may or may not see some consolidation in this area right in here. We can begin to formulate our game plan for what we want to do. Now, this wick here pretty much tells us that this was a, a fake out to the downside. Obviously, buyers came in and we are now just trending in this area here. Now, the, the top is 86.48 and the bottom is 85.31. So almost a $1 difference on crude oil within this area. So you want to give yourself opportunities to scalp if there's any, you know, major news or what have you. We want to work within these areas in here to really look at it. Now, if we drop a Fibonacci from, you know, either one of these here, I like to go from this zone right here where price dropped the second time down here. We can see that we've seen rejection around the 50. If we take this Fibonacci to this point here and then this point here, and then this point here, you can see that we can still find some value anywhere in this area here. If we drop it from this top point, then we would want to look for price to come back towards the top of this zone. So uh, this here would be a sell area if price does come back up to this area based on this higher Fibonacci zone. Now, again, we might still be trapped grab a square for right now we need to see a breakout of this area meaning a candle close and i'm going to go ahead and change that color to yellow so we need to have a candle close in one direction or another now understand that here you have a level of resistance which is near the 50 in this area and then here you have an area of support near 8531. So we need to kind of wait to see what price is going to do. We may just bounce up here. But again, to me, the, the, the safer bet would be because of these areas is to wait for a candle. I'm going to put it over here so it's clearer to close above this area. And I'll make this candle green. Okay. If we get a candle, to close. Now you're more than welcome to try to scalp in between here, but again, it's a lot more riskier. If you see a candle close up here, then you're going to want to see candle close price to come back down towards this area. And then we shoot it up to the next zone up here. Remember, keep in mind that these areas are a little widespread like this. Okay. So they're not necessarily a particular line. And then same thing here down at the bottom. We'll mark this down here. If we are going to go lower, then just the opposite here, right? I'm going to wait for a candle to close below this area. And we'll make this red. And then wait for that break. So closer below. Back up towards this area. And then back down towards our next zone of 84.40. So those are the couple of, of scenarios there that you would be looking at. If you decide to buy here, you know, this would be a, what I'm going to call a riskier buy, but you should be able to scalp 20 points. Okay. Um, make this a little bit bigger. Okay, cool.
So again, this zone right here would be a riskier buy. But again, we did see this rejection here. So again, if you want to look at a buy here, I'm going to move this over here now, then you can look to possibly take this area here off this support level, right? And then try to grab your 20 points there. In the meantime, if you want to be more conservative, you wait for one of these two scenarios to happen, okay? Or you trade a very tight stop loss, something like this. I'll leave you with this. A long position would be something because of this wick would be something like this. Back up to this area. And then below the wick, right? And then a short position, which looks something like this. Coming back up to this area. Above this wick and back down to here. So this gives you a couple of opportunities to scalp within this area depending on what you are looking to do. And that is your intraday crude oil analysis for today.